the research article would be doing that uh, specifically on the basis of uh, the abstract and therefore uh, it has to be understood uh, here that uh, the abstract should be a clear uh, summarization of the entire text the second thing which is again very very important is the title of the uh, article as we have discussed previously that the title has to be uh, thought of beforehand okay but now is the time when you can make the final changes in the title of the article uh, you will have to assess whether the the title is uh, in sync with the, uh, the 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 contents of the article and therefore this this is the very this is a crucial time when uh, both the things need to be drafted uh, in the best possible manner also it is advisable that uh, you can ask certain questions to yourself as well as your co-authors as well as you can ask other people uh, scholars in that field of study to review your abstract and title uh, if they do not have time to review the entire article uh, it will help uh, you in understanding what mistakes you are doing uh, in writing the title and the abstract so sending that abstract and title to some five or six uh, experts in that area is a is a commonly recommended thing which should be done uh, the next thing is uh, the journal in which you are submitting you have to reread whatever instructions uh, you have been given as i have previously mentioned that uh, in the earlier stages of your work you should uh, have chosen upon the journal and worked your article according to what uh, the journal is prescribing so it is important now at this stage also to reread the journal's instructions this is a common mistake which we do uh, we do not read the instructions provided by the journal and make mistakes in uh, submitting the article i have also seen um, articles getting rejected because it does not meet the journal's instructions and the editors uh, clear cut uh, instruction uh, say uh, when they are rejecting the article that uh, if an author is not serious enough to look into the prospects of the journal and the instructions given uh, how can we expect the author to you know work out, work around other things uh, in in the revision process or any other process which comes out later on so it is also a way to find out how serious a, a, a writer an author is uh, while submitting an article to a given journal so it's important that uh, we read the instructions well and in the same stead uh, also provide uh, Uh, written notes to the editor because uh, how do we actually write the notes to the editor we can do it uh, through the cover letter most of you must be knowing about it uh, if you have submitted articles to uh, good peer review journals that uh, you'll have to submit a cover letter now what does this cover letter uh, talk about this cover letter talks about uh, not what what you have actually written in your um, uh, abstract or whatever you have found out uh, exactly as in in your research article both because those things are already there so any other information which uh, which should be known to the editor should be written in the cover letter for example uh, how you have derived the data is the data uh, openly accessed uh, is accessible have you put it in a data repository any conflict if conflict of interest uh, uh, with the funding authorities who is the funding authority if at all there is any funding authority uh and if there are some exceptions to what generally uh, people talk about so those things need to be uh, uh taken care of and should be put in the view of the journal editor also if uh, some of the previous articles have already been published uh, uh keeping the same data set you know the same data uh, maybe uh, it's a large study where you have collected uh, uh whole some data and that you have divided or sliced into different segments and then you are publishing it so those information like this data has already been used for uh, publishing some papers and such things such information uh, which uh, uh, can be categorized as salami tactics or uh, maybe text recycling or data manipulation uh, so such things if if the author already knows about it should be uh, presented in other uh, in the cover letter uh, which is written specifically to the editor most of uh, 
the journals ask for this cover letter but there are journals also who they do not ask for cover letters in such situations they clearly uh, uh, make this known to the author that they do not want any cover letter however if there are any exceptions then definitely a note to the editor can be brought forward so these are the things uh, which are important then you can uh, prepare the final illustrations tables graph uh, you have to check cross check uh, if every table is being cited in the text every figure is being cited in the text or not because if you do not do it properly uh, chances are that you will be asked to resubmit your uh, document again so in this stage you should look for uh, each aspects closely uh, then the next thing is get feedback on manuscript and revise accordingly. Now getting feedback for, on manuscript is uh, important. We generally skip this uh, uh, important aspect. Why? Because we do not have say much time. We have already spent a lot of time in writing the article and uh, and therefore uh, but this is again a very important step. Reason is that uh, we can judge our paper on the prism of our own intellect we we are not able to actually bring into our own mind some of the mistakes which are very evident but we may overlook it uh, even i'm talking about if all the co-authors also proofread the article well they may skip some of the points because it can be myopic in in that sense so it's better to send out the manuscript to good friends who are scholars and are working in uh, the same domain area uh, so that they can give uh, final uh, suggestions on improving the manuscript and uh, if, if some important aspects uh, though very brief and small may be left out could be incorporated in the text accordingly and then yeah definitely uh, taking if, if you feel that those um, uh, feedback can be taken up and it will help the paper to be improved then definitely you should go for revising it accordingly uh, then you submit the manuscript uh, according to the guidelines which is uh, provided in, in the journal uh, and then submit it. Uh, if you are lucky enough, your paper will not be desk rejected. If you have, uh, if you have gone through all the editorials which uh, the journal brings out and specifies what important things should be done and should not be done about an article. If you have followed all the guidelines, uh, read the scope, aim of uh, the journal and if your article actually matches that plus if the editor feels that uh, this uh, article can be uh, uh, a well cited one once it gets published and it actually makes any kind of significant contribution uh, then the editor sends it for sends it for reviews you know generally the process nowadays with uh, good journals is that they are accepting very less papers and uh, for even review so desk rejections, uh, desk rejection rates are quite high, 80%, 90% of the papers. Um, uh, the reason may be mainly is, uh, can be many, but uh, the most important reason with the journal's side uh, because of uh, desk rejecting an article is when they feel that uh, the authors are non-serious about uh, their papers. Uh, they have just uh, submitted the article in order to get a viewpoint uh, this also happens. So if the articles are in conjunction and in line with what the journal looks for, uh, mostly the chances are that the article will move through the uh, move through the desk rejection stage. It will not be desk rejected in the first go. And uh, again, then you're lucky enough, you'll get the reviews. Uh, it may take a lot of time depending on what journal uh, time uh, span is. Most of the journals today are looking for uh, a quick uh, review however it depends on the time and availability of uh, the reviewers and it, uh, you nobody no journal can actually give you a timeline as to uh, when will the reviews come out so it's it's a painstakingly uh, it takes a long time and uh, and uh, and patience is generally appreciated uh, from the authors that they give the ample uh, time to the reviewers uh, and the journal editor so that they can bring out uh, a good review so uh, and then uh, once the review is with you then each of the aspects you know pointed out you may not agree to all the aspects which the reviewers have pointed out but uh, if they have asked you to revise the paper nothing better than this because uh, uh, actually uh, yeah, the paper has been found out to be of scientific uh, value and evidence to uh, to the people so it is important then uh, for you to take every uh, aspect of the review in consideration and revise it point wise 
uh, if you have certain uh, observations to make about the review you can uh, write that to the editor and ask for further clarification if you really want to get into it uh, other than that it's better to have uh, the article reviewed according to the reviewers uh, suggestions so this is how you can write down the whole article and uh, uh, submit and have a f have a final laugh when you actually getting your article published it's time for uh, you to enjoy so uh, so this is the process uh, of uh, writing a good research article